hello guys welcome back to our channel it's good to have you again happy new year fam all right today i'll show you how to make your base cream from scratch okay there are two ways to make your base cream there's the ordinary base cream which is a plain base cream and we have whitening base cream so if you want to know what type you have been making all this rice can you watch this video till the end i'm making a large batch so i have to record this for you for our base cream here we're making the Iwa, our uh, Iwa is 320 grams. We have fetal alcohol 100 grams, and of course, stearic acid 100 grams. We'll also be using our coconut oil 200 ml of coconut oil, and of course, our plain distilled water will be making use of 1392 ml of distilled water then I'll be using salicylic acid as well and to dissolve my salicylic acid I'll make use of propylene glycol we also have um, lactic acid sorry we have lactic acid we have um, glycolic acid I'll be going in also and then we have white now oil white now oil will be making use of 120 ml okay so that's one of these for lactic acid we're making use of 120 ml it's a large batch remember i said that and glycolic acid i just need 72 ml of course vitamin e is very important to so make use of 48 ml of vitamin e um we're making use of polysorbate 80 and i'll tell you why I'm making I'm, I'm adding this in the product I'm gonna let you know when we get to that stage. I'm making use of 15 ml of this and of course my preservative. For all the ingredients you see there, as we progress in the video, I'll tell you why I have this ingredient there. So for now let's get started. Sterilize the workplace using rubbing alcohol. I've already sanitized my work tools and my workplace. So it's very important. So this is it. I'm going to put this here. have to dissolve this with um, coconut oil and by so we use 200 ml Adding now, uh, like I said, 200 ml of coconut oil. Should it? This is it. Coconut oil. I'm going to 
dissolve this in the double boiler and then come back I'm, I'm going to dissolve this and come back of course I'm also going to heat our water remember I said we were making use of 1392 ml of water okay so I'll be back so guys this is our dissolved you have set of alcohol and stevic acid with coconut oil so I'm just going to wait for it to cool down a bit while waiting so I'm just going to dissolve our salicylic acid remember I said we have 48 grams here so I'll be needing 48 ml of propelling glycol to dissolve the salicylic acid this is our propelling glycol so I need 48 ml of this I'm going to quickly so we boil this to dissolve a bit and then I'll come back okay so my salicylic acid and uh, propylene glycol is in a double boiler so now to fully dissolve I'll bring this here so this is our oil next thing I'm going to do is add our warm water distilled water can see it well so we just keep stirring it's going to get thick as it cools down The cool down is going to get thick. Okay, your base film has to be thick so it can withstand your whitening acid. Okay, especially if you'll be using it for a whitening cream. So you can see it's gradually getting thick. This is our dissolved salicylic acid. I'm gonna pour it in. to show you if you want to make a whitening base for my two liter of two you saw me where I added um the sea water to this thing usually if I'm making a base cream to promise my half cup of snow white solution I use a whitening rose water okay I use whitening rose water you see I use whitening rose water okay 
and then now I have to add my lactic acid um, lactic acid will be 120 ml So this is one hundred and twenty ml plastic acid. Now, I told you while whitening base cream and ordinary base cream. So, if I'm doing a base cream to promise my whitening snow white lotion, in place of ordinary light cream, I will use this whitening light cream. Okay, depending on the color you want your base to have, you can either use this lemon whitening base and uh, whitening light cream or this whitening light cream. This is carrot whitening light cream. This is lemon whitening light cream. But well, I'm not doing it. Strong whitening base cream, so I'll be using my vegetable light cream. These are available for sale if you need them. We have them available, okay? So I'm using ordinary vegetable light cream, and I'll be using 48 ml of this. Then the next thing I'm going to add now is my vitamin E oil, vitamin E also in 48. If I can eat or you have measured my 48 ml, this is it. Next thing I'm going to do is therapy. Can you see how thick our face has become? Now I'm going to add um, polysorbate 80. I'm just going to add 16 ml of this. Now, when you add polysorbate 80 to your base cream, it's going to give you that fine consistency like the normal industrial base cream you get by in the market. You know how it looks like, okay? 
If you don't want to use for the solid AC, you can use Xanta gum. Okay, and when you do your Xanta gum, you dissolve it with glycerin. Some people use water, but I prefer glycerin. If you add too much of this, it's going to loosen your beauty. It's going to make it light. Don't add too much. So that's our food is for the 80. I'm going to use my electronic mixer to keep this thoroughly. And then for the base, I'm going to add 24 ml. My freezer base. So that is all for our base cream. If you want to make a whitening base cream, you have to add powder to it. You can add two powder, two strong powder, so okay. You dissolve it and then add it in the water phase of the product. Then replace your vegetable glycerin with either of this whitening glycerin. Replace distilled water with whitening rose water. Okay? And then add two strong whitening powders. They are strong whitening powders and they are mild whitening powders. 